another video <laughs> and you guys know my life is not perfect maybe yours is but mine is and that's for sure so anyway Clint had all these jeans right here all of these jeans and he was like and these jeans are all from PacSun they like well, like $70 $80 jeans mm -mm, they're like yeah $50 something like that Hey, like 60, 50, 60 dollars? Yeah, they don't fit me. I've had these, I had these in like sophomore year. And so, I'm like, dude, we don't have money to waste like that. Are you sure? I'm like, are you sure they don't fit? So, that's a pair of the jeans that Clinton is wearing. Um, I yeah, think I'm they fit. These off. Excuse they, me? They hurt. How are they hurting, Clinton? No, they hurt. <laughs> I don't feel like they're too tight and it's making me uncomfortable. <clears throat> but where are they tight at? All around. So he's saying the pants are too tight. I'm going to try to pants on. I'm not giving away this stuff. There are some places where you can donate or sell your clothes. What is it called? I don't know. There's places where, where where's the store where you can um, sell your clothes, Bobby? Play Doh's Closet. Who? Play Do they have Play Doh's Closet everywhere? Yeah, there's one here. Everywhere I said. Well, in Texas, it's called Plato's Closet. If you Google where you can sell your clothes, so I, you know, I'm always on a budget. I let me try the clothes on because this would be like a whole new wardrobe for me. So I'm gonna try these pants on and see if I can fit them. Then Bobby's gonna try them on, and then Cindy's gonna try them on. Okay, Bobby doesn't want to try the pants on. We'll leave her alone. I don't want them to do anything they don't want to do. Forget no, it. I forget didn't. it. Forget it, Bobby. Just forget it. Uh, these pants are too. All right, tight. fine. Okay, fine. Mom, fine. I need help taking these off. You don't need. <laughs> he talking about he needs help taking the pants off. So I'm gonna try. Why am I, why am I holding these? I'll be right back. Let me try the pants. Jeans. What size are these? These are size. 
These are void now, mine. These are void. Size 30. They're size 30, 34. The length is a 34. So they're size 30. So Sydney, if she was to buy some, she'll probably be what, 27, 28? What? A 26? See, that's painted on because these are nice and comfy. Oh, I don't like my jeans. Okay, don't take your clothes off on the camera. Bobby, you are our final contestant. Now should we see who can dress him up the best? I know I'll be fly. You know I would do the do with those jeans on, boo. I would do the do. Bobby. So There's Bobby. But see, <laughs> come here, Bobby. Come here. <laughs> Let me tuck your shirt in. Tuck <laughs> this shirt in, Bobby. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Never. Huh? Never. <laughs> there you have it, folks. What, what would you call it? The traveling pants of the Basil family. <laughs> you know, like the movie, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there you have it, for, folks. I'm not going to say who wore it better because you know, if I go in that room and come back out no. and jazz it up, no, you and don't. jazz it up. I I don't even want to hear about. I don't want to hear you. No, it would you, be me, Bobby. You mean me, right? You learn from your yeah. elders, okay? Yeah. It would be me. You learn from. Oh, so you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? We don't have to go into that, right? So, of course, you don't want no, to. No, just trust and believe I would win. No, it's really, Bobby. Yeah. Let's so. let's go. For no, it's okay. who wore them better? No. Let's do it, Bobby. Come on, bet. No, it's okay. <laughs> Back. <laughs> Come on, Bobby, let's do it. Okay. Right? Oh, she's sure. scared. She's scared. That's what it I'm is. I'm not scared. Oh, you're scared to lose is the problem. No. Okay, so make sure you like and subscribe. No, let's do we'll it, Bobby. See you next time. Who's gonna wear it better? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that. That's what a scared person does. They don't. They no. Don't, they don't no. live up to the challenge. Okay. She's scared because you know I would work that, honey. Let's do it, Bobby. Why? Why not? Tell me why not. Because I don't I don't have anything to prove. Like I know I would win. So, so let them prove it. No. <laughs> it's really okay. It's really Let's do it for the vlog, Bobby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay guys, she punked out. Uh, so you know what? I'm gonna do it by myself. How I would jazz up those jeans since a lot of people want to put me, give me the ball. <laughs> since people want to put me in this box, let me show you how I would work those jeans. Let me think, what would I wear? Now keep in mind, my hair is busted, so we're not doing that part, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. So if I'm gonna wear these jeans more than one way and, and jazz them up, this is one way. So I put on my leather vest. You guys have seen this before. So I put the leather vest on, my little belt that I've had for like before the kids were born. In the back. And I got this from, I don't know, I think I paid $14.99 for this a long time ago. Okay? So let's see the bottom. So this is how this will look. And these are little booties. The shoes are little booties. I've had them for a while, just to go with the, the winter look. So this is just one, okay? Now, now if I wanna get a little jacket, remember I have a bad headache, so the hat's not coming off, I switched it. Then I could take this off. Then I take the vest off, and it's a totally different look. And here's the vest again different look take off the little thing here's another one same outfit you throw on a red belt it's my little pop-up color sometimes you can do the same thing with your shoes if you have a cute red shoe or red boot then you throw that on but I threw on the, the, the red belt I didn't change the name 
it gives the outfit a totally different look with that little pop of color. So once again, and this belt I got from um, New York and Company. This vest, I don't know, this could be New York and Company too, but I got it a long time ago. And you can put this on with a turtleneck or something. Okay. Same jeans. Look, thank you Clinton for the jeans, okay? Same jeans. Now, there's one other thing you can do. I'll be right back. Then you can put it on with the blazer. And if you're going out, you can wear a cute little bustier for the older for the older girls, okay? Wear a cute little bustier. And then if you if you dare, you can, you know, have the okay. stomach out a little bit and have your cute bustier. Same belt. I have it in black. And you can do a sparkly top underneath. And you get a totally different look. So you put the belt outside of the blazer. I got this blazer at a thrift store. It's a tuxedo blazer. Love funky blazers. You can wear them various ways. Or once again, you put a turtleneck, a tight turtleneck under here. And it will give it a totally different look. So I have put the same jeans on with several different tops. You can change your shoes. Y'all know I like my Miss DD boots. Maybe I'll put those on. I think I'll try one more for you. One more, if I'm going out and want to be. Okay, let's do one more. See, little things you can do without showing a whole bunch and like the little peekaboo stomach thing. Yeah, so if you can rock out, rock your stomach, your stomach out a little, you can. Turn the belt to the side. And I see I like low rise because sometimes I like to show off the little thing around there, whatever. So. And that's if I'm going to be grown, okay? That's being grown. So, let me do them with my fancy boots. I know I like my boots. Okay, and this is another little top. I got this from New York and Company a long time ago. And I like the little stripes on the side. And this one, you can put on with a little baseball hat. Like if you had a sparkly baseball hat. I look with the jeans. I put my sparkly. Let's see it get the boots. Put my belt, my Miss Dee Dee boots. I love my boots. Yeah. Same jeans, wore different ways. So this is how. So this is how you can dress up the same jeans different ways. I have one more to show you. If I don't want to wear my little fancy high heel boots, there's one other option. Hold on. I'll be okay, back. this is my last and final look. I dressed it down, same shirt, same pants. I tied a um, shirt around the waist, same jeans, and this is how the bottom looks. With my little high heel boots, sparkly top, still got the belt on. A red and black flannel will look cute with this for the holiday. And it won't even look like you're trying too hard. You relax, you're comfortable, you cute, you throw in your bamboo earrings, it kind of gives you that B girl look. I mean, you, you could do so many different things. You see, you could do so many different things wearing the same pair of jeans. Thank you, Clinton, for this and with the little high heel boots. Okay, woo, what? So I kind of look similar to this on uh, Friday. I think the kids like, the kids like when I do stuff. And people, some people trying to say, aren't you too old? But you know, like if I do my B-girl look or whatever, aren't you too old and look like that? No one has said that, but I'm quite sure someone has thought that. Is there an age limit? I'm not out there with a short, short skirt with my boobs out. I'm not doing that. I'm still covered up. I'm still professional. Okay. Um, why aren't you to your why? I gotta look like I, I'm 90. Why do I have to have a little, what is it? A house dress on? No. If I could be jazzy and fly for the rest of my days, I can. And yes, I could put on a business suit. Yes, I could put on a gown. I could do all those things. I dress the way I feel. And if this is how I'm feeling today, this is what it shall be.
Matter of fact, maybe I'll wear this to the south. Y'all could come with me. I'll be right back. 